Hello everybody, welcome back to Stealing 33 Plays, Enter the Gungeon. I'm Stealing 33 and today we're going to be playing as the bullet. Uh, oh, there we go. Um, never actually played as the bullet before. Uh, it appears that we have some sort of like super powered dodge roll or something going on here. Um, I'm very excited to be playing as the bullet. This is also the first video I'm doing today in the record palooza that I have in preparation for... Going off to uh, Michigan to see my grandfather and other family members tomorrow and all the way up through Wednesday. Well, actually Thursday morning, but I'll be able to record stuff for, like, Friday then. But, um, yeah, there's gonna be tons of Gungeon, tons of Dark Souls, um, but... Interesting. Okay, I can block with it? That's interesting. Woo! Suck it, nerds. Um, so the bullet is interesting. So he starts out with a melee weapon, and I'm curious. We gotta test something real quick. Okay, nope. I can't block with it. Um, much of my dismay here. Uh, and it appears that we have like a, Ma a Legend of Zelda style like Master Sword, basically to start with. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, it's definitely a change of pace, to say the least. I can destroy bullets with the sword, so that's cool. Uh, it, it counts as like a melee weapon, kind of like um. Kind of like, uh, like the fight saber, um, from before. Ow, okay, so we actually just destroy most bullets. Okay, interesting. Alright. Ooh, and he's got, like, a little bit of, like, he, like, jumps forward when I swing. So, I gotta be really careful. Uh, but this is interesting. What does that do? Like, I feel like the re reload's gotta do something, right? I don't know. Gun's got unlimited ammo. Well, the sword has unlimited ammo. The irony being that it is a bullet that is using a sword. How's the... Oh, okay, so we can, like, roll into people for extra damage, it seems. Uh, I don't know how good it is, mind you, but, uh, we'll see. No, it seems that... Woo! It's actually pretty decent. Um, one shot and a lot of dudes on the first floor here. Uh, I might die because I'm, like, dicking around a whole bunch trying to, like, you know, get a feeling for what this character is all about. Um... If that's the case, we'll just restart, because this is an episode about showing off the bullet. Um, who is a in very intriguing character, actually. Um, there used to be a bug that you could do where you could make the sword swing, like, 30,000 30, times, like, really quickly. Um, and I wish I, I wish I knew how to do it. I think it got patched out, though. Um, but this is, uh, this is an interesting character, to say the least. Uh, it's a nice change of pace, I needed it. Ah, uh, and the, the, the jumping's good. That is, uh, military training. Uh, makes it so that our weapons are all more accurate, if I'm not mistaken. And I think it gives us... It doesn't give us extra damage, does it? I think it's just accuracy. It's just weapon accuracy, right? Better reload speed and weapon accuracy. There you go. Uh, provides immunity to contact damage, and rolling into enemies increases deals increased damage. Oh, okay, cool. So we can't get hurt by contact damage, which makes the cannon ball rock is going to be pretty easy, because... One of his attacks, I constantly get hit by him himself, but if I'm immune to contact damage, I don't think I'll get hurt by that. Um, it's probably to balance it out, because I'm using a melee weapon in a game full of ranged characters. Um, so, like, if I can't get hit by contact damage, I can get, like, up in people's grill and not have to worry about it too much. It also helps that the sword's, like, really strong. Um, I'm two-shotting a lot of enemies down here, um, which is really good. It's actually, it's, it's super good. I'm, uh, I'm kind of excited about it. I am going to be looking for some goons. Um, the grenade launcher and the MAC-10, uh, the machine pistol, sorry. MAC-10 is an actual gun in this game. Even though I'm pretty sure that that's an Uzi, and I'm pretty sure the Uzi is a MAC-10, but don't quote me on that. Um, in fairness to myself, I, uh, I, I know a lot about firearms, but I do not remember classifications very well. And I really only know stuff about, like, World War II era firearms are really more my speed. Um... And I know a little bit about modern weaponry, but the Mac 10s not a modern weapon, not technically speaking. At least it's it's like a it's like a street weapon. I guess it's a modern weapon, but it's like a it's like a it's like a street weapon. Like it's not used by like the military. I guess military grade is better than modern. Um, because I long ago was a QA tester on Modern Warfare 3, and so and I was the resident gun expert. It was my job to know everything there is about firearms for the game. So, you know, I had that going for me, which was kind of cool. It was a fun thing to do. Boss fights are going to be 
a nightmare, I just realized, because, like, the bosses are super bullet helly. I guess the nice part's that I can, like, cut through their bullets kind of nicely. Ooh, ooh. Um, oh. Yeah, I could cut through, like, large swaths of bullets here. But. Uh, 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 uh. Cut. Okay, there we go. I think we're doing fine. Um, you know, this character's really cool. Uh, I'm really digging this, actually. Like, super a lot. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay, got it. We good. We Gucci. It's like playing Dark Souls. <laughs> you just gotta get in there and get the hicks, get the licks in while you can. And then just, I'm just, like, swiping at all the bullets. I don't know why I would use anything other than this sword. It's like super good. And blocking bullets is like destroying the bullets in front of me is making this stressful, mind you, but easier. Ah, shit. Well, we got hit. Talk shit, get hit, I guess. Got him. All right. We got hit once. Um, you know, for the first time playing the bullet, I don't think, I think almost killing the boss without getting hit is, is pretty good. Um, we're gonna sell the mahogany, because I think it's garbage, and, um, frankly, I, I don't really plan on using much other than the sword unless I get something, like, particularly good. Um, so, do I want either of these? Can't afford either of them, right? Nope, can't. So, we'll just bail out. Uh, the sword's really good. And, frankly, I would use it over the mahogany any day of the week. The only time I probably wouldn't would be that, like... I guess if I got into a situation where I couldn't hit somebody with a sword, but I don't think that there's ever a situ... I've never seen a situation where that could possibly happen. Am I immune to, I'm immune to contact damage from those guys, too. Interesting. Um, that's a... That's quite the advantage, actually. I didn't really consider... Like, that means I can't get... Like, there are just tons of enemies. I don't think I can get hurt by the nibblers. Um, I can't get hit by the blobulons, I think. It's, it's, uh, it's intriguing. So it takes two rolls to uh, to kill somebody. Or one sword swipe, a, sword swipe in a roll. Um, I'm, I'm really digging the sword, actually, to be honest. It does it does really good damage. Um, because it's technically our sidearm and also having unlimited ammo is kind of cool. Um, I wonder if that means, like, I wonder if we can unlock this for, like, other characters. Um... That would be interesting. It would be more funny. I think it'd be funnier if uh, the bullet was also immune to curse. Like, you just can't get cursed. I really like this character. I'm having a good time. Um, which, you know, I think I think that I needed this to revitalize me for playing Gungeon a little bit more. Um, it was getting a little brutal after a while trying to, you know, play through Gungeon and getting my ass kicked constantly was not fun. Um, especially after I've done so well lately, but change of pace is apparently exactly what I need. I feel in, I feel revitalized. Whoop, excuse me, right now. Granted, we got messed up super hard because I was dicking around on the first floor. Um, I don't think it really matters. Whole hog here, but uh, apparently I also can't roll into people while I have iframes. So that's good to know, I guess. Ah, damn it. All right. Uh, we'll restart and we'll just do another run. Um, ah, I died. Like, I exploded. Oh, that's, that's horrifying. Yeah, we'll just do a quick restart. Um, I dicked around a little bit too much on the first floor, and, you know, it took a minute for me to get used to the sword. Uh, I think keeping it in a state where I can, I can throw lightsabers at people is probably in my interest. Because not only does it let me one-shot people, but because the sword and the the swipe and the uh, laser sword are two separate entities. Um, so they both hit the target when I swing at them. But, you know. It's also worth noting that I should probably still dodge stuff. Like, use the sword swipe to, like, fight bosses with the sword swipe is probably a good idea. But, like, you know, there's no need for me to go ham on a biscuit. Ah, oh, come on, really? Bullshit. There you go. 
Ew, ew, ew. Got you there. Um, exploding enemies are going to be a problem, I think. Um, generally speaking. Because uh, it's going to be really hard to hit them and not get hit by the explosion at the same time. Uh, Beckett, not full HP because I get hit twice. I got hit by the explosion and I got hit by the the lead knight. Which sucks, but, you know, whatever. Pulling into people's hard. Um, oh, I, I want that item. There's an item that makes your dodge rolls do even more damage. That plus, like, the bullets starting item probably would be, like, super crazy good. Oop, I, uh, I used a blank because I was mashing the A key trying to... Trying to get, like, inch closer to the person so I can hit him through the wall. I, uh, I'm really liking this. I'm having a good time right now. Uh, laser rifle's pretty good. Um, I don't know if it's better than, than Blasphemy is the name of the sword. That's awesome. <laughs> well, that's really cool. Um, I don't know if it's better than Blasphemy, but it's uh, it's pretty good. Laser rifle, it's not, it's not bad. I've used worse guns. I've used and enjoyed using worse guns. Like the Mac-10 or the machine pistol. Uh, both of those are pretty bad, all things considered. Ah, oh. but um, I'm uh, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Knowing that we're immune to uh, contact damage from all enemies, it's like so that means like even the enemies like the rubber bullets, I just bounce off of them. Like I am a rubber bullet. Um, that's kind of nice. Um. Where the hell are they? I just don't feel like walking all the way over there. Alright. Reload here. Let's switch back to Blasphemy. Such a, it's a, that's a cool name for a weapon. Like, I, it's, it's even funnier because we live in a world full of guns. Like, I just kind of like it, but, uh. I'm having a good time right now. I don't know if you guys can tell that I'm having a good time because I've said it like 50,000 times already, but I'm having a good time. It would be really easy, actually. Um, well, the blobby lines are dropping. Ooh, the mine cutter. Ooh, I kind of want that. I want this key more, but I kind of want the mine cutter. Mine cutter's a great gun. Um, it's based off of the uh, plasma cutter from Dead Space. Uh, it's got two firing modes. One tri-beam mode, which does a ton of damage, and one like line beam mode, which is more accurate and fires faster. Um, the line beam mode has an uncapped fire rate, and the... Um, well, the tri-beam mode does not, so you can really... You can empty a clip of the, like, the line beam into somebody really fast. Uh, it does less damage, obviously. It does reduce damage, but, um... More accurate. It's just better. It's a... The gun's good. Um, I prefer tri-beam mode because I'm a damage whore. And I like it when stuff drops dead from, like, one or two hits. Because, like I said, the less time I spend on a room, the less likely I am to get hit. Um... And I like to talk shit. Flashbangs or chaff grenades. Uh, we have, we get three chaff grenades and then they're spent. Um, all the other sorts freaking out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a Gatlingol fight, huh? Gatlingol will be interesting because um, he does have a melee attack, which is interesting to say the least. Maybe we'll use the gun here for a little bit, just to spare myself a little. Cut through the pain! The phantom pain! Woo! What up, nerd? Oh, I got hit. Damn it. You ain't got nothing on me, Gatling Gull. I'll cut you down. I'll bite your legs off. I wonder if the bullet has an alternate costume. And if he does, why is it not him being the Black Knight? Or like jammed. I think him being a jammed bullet would be funny. Um. Ah. Gatling Gull so hard with the fucking sword. Oh, shit. Yeah, I yeah. am. It's gonna change the way that I think about boss fights. Or it might turn into a situation where I just need to, like, not use the sword on boss fights. Except during, like, phases where I can't actually, like, get at them. That might be better. Um, 
now that I'm thinking about it. Do we have we have 80, so yeah, let's go buy the mine cutter. Um The the Eye of the Beholster is also really good, but the mine cutter is one of my favorite guns. Uh it's it's up there. It's definitely an A-tier weapon. Uh and if you're wondering why I didn't use chaff grenades, it doesn't work on bosses. I tried. Um I tried a while back. Um, the first time I ever picked up chaff grenades, I'm plugging my phone in. Sorry about that. Let's just toss my phone over there. Pop, pop, pop. That's what the computer says. Um, well, the nice part's that so blasphemy is really good on rooms, I think. And then I think that like for boss fights, I'm just gonna have to use firearms and like fight the boss normally. Um, Gatling gold might have been a special case. Um, Cause like I'm pretty sure like I don't think I could fight ammo. No, I could fight ammo conduct because yeah, he, he I can't do dealt contact damage. So if I just stay in front of him, then I can't get hit. Basically, because he doesn't ever fires out of his mouth. He only tries to run into you. Ow. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. I want to know like if reloading this thing does anything. I don't think it does. Like I'm I'm becoming convinced of the point that I don't think it does. But. Oh. There we go. Okay. Um, there's another room on the other side of this room, apparently, so I'm gonna have to go that way eventually. What up, nerds? Ole! Ole! Haha! <laughs> on guard, bastards! I'll take you all on in a fight of mercy and judgment! Ow. You know what I need is I need Blast Helmet. Blast Helmet would be super good. Uh, the, the bullet's got, like, an entirely different set of items that are good on him. Ugh. It's very interesting, though. It's it's really changing the way that I'm thinking about guns and stuff. Because, like, there's a lot of active items that just aren't good with the bullet. Um, but then, like, there are a bunch that are super good with the bullet. Like, chaff grenades is actually probably really good. I should probably be using them. Uh, cause it'll stun everybody on the room, so then I'll be able to, like, run up and slash the shit out of them before they... ...they can recover. Which would be nice. Oof, I ate dinner, like, a little bit ago. It's like 5 o'clock here in Chicago. Um, my brother gets home at 8 and then we're watching Game of Thrones, so I, uh... ...I gotta finish the majority of my recordings before then, so that way I can watch Game of Thrones with him without having to... ...you know, be up until 4 in the morning recording today. Which, as much as that's, like, I used to do that all the time, um, I've got to get up at, like, noon and drive to Michigan tomorrow, which I know doesn't sound bad, but if you're up till 6 a.m. and then you got to be up at noon and then drive three hours, like, that's, that's pretty brutal. Um, granted, I do it all the time, and I did it a lot in college, but, like, I've been getting eight hours of sleep every night for the last, like, year and a half now, so, you know, sue me, I'm not, well, that's not true. I, I don't sleep a lot. Most of the time, but oof, that's a this is gonna be a nasty, a nasty fight. We're gonna have to use the shock rifle on this. I don't think I can use the sword to fight this asshole. We got the shock rifle out, so let's use it. Oh, the mine cutter's so good. Yeah, so you can see it took two tri-beam shots to kill a bulletkin on this floor. It takes three, like, line shots to do it. Um, so that kind of sucks. I mean, it's not, it doesn't suck. It's actually a really good gun, but, you know, it feels bad, man. It feels bad. Um, I'm hoping... It, it sucks that, so they give you charges of the flat, of the, uh, the chaff grenade, but then they make you recharge it. Like, it should just be, like, if you're gonna get charges, it should just be, like never have it should have like the lowest cooldown ever or it should be an auto charger um it's dumb that it's not that's okay all right let's pull up blasphemy again come on blasphemy let's do this because i want to try to use as much blasphemy as possible so that way i can keep the guns for other rooms but it also might be in my interest to not focus on using nothing but blasphemy because uh, it is high risk. It's, it's like using a shotgun, right? It's There's a high chance that I will end up hitting, like getting hurt due to being in close proximity of a target. Um, so you got to be weary of that while you're doing it. Um, but the nice part's that it like does save ammo, and I can cut bullets out of the air, which is nice. 
Um, that ma that'll make it really good if we end up fighting, like, the Wallmonger. Um, it'll make the Wallmonger fight easy, because then I can, like, sh cut my way through, like, phases of the boss fight. Um, there are definitely, definitely uses for the sword that I can see. Um, cutting your way through, um, the second phase of the High Dragon fight is one. Um, if it stays, like, consistently killing people in two hits for the rest of time, like, you might be a business in that direction. I don't know, we'll see. There are options. Uh, Ring of Chest Vampirism might be good. Book of Chest Anatomy might also be good. The Ballad increases our coolness. Uh, vampirism is whenever we destroy a chest, uh, we get healed. Um, and it's a good item. Is it better than a blue chest quality item? Now that's the question, because it's basically the argument I'm making. But I'm going to go buy this key now, right? And the key's 30, 30 things. So I need to decide, is the Ring of Chest Vampirism worth 30 credits? Yes, yes it is. Okay, is the blue chest worth 30 credits? Probably, probably. Uh, it depends on what we get out of it, right? Because um, there are some blue chest items that I really like, and then there are some blue chest items that I don't really like. Uh, Shotgun Coffee is one of them. Shaka Cola, sorry. Uh, Shaka Cola is really good. Uh, the speed up will be nice, it'll help with the sword. Um, not that we're going to be using the sword against the boss here, unless it's, unless it's Cannonball Rock. No, it's, um, fucking this asshole. Oh, I was like, I can do this all day. I think I can do this all day. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to give the uh, the bullet another run to, uh, actually right after this. Um, but uh, I'm going to cut the episode off here. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw, let me know. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date when I post more videos. And if you really like what you saw, uh, leave a like. It helps the channel grow. It helps me out a great deal. But of course, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!